age of the bulldozer had arrived, America's wilderness areas were rapidly disappearing. It became clear that even the vastness of Alaska's wilderness would not remain unexploited without some kind of legal protection. Thoughtful people both in and out of Alaska were concerned. Dark, 22 hours a day, 10 degrees, and our, we so appreciate your staying because part of our hope is that we can get the show the best it can be before we go. And since it is a new work, we'd kind of like to start with our first question being, what are the uh, points of connection for you right now so that we know what it is that is reading for you? If it's okay. I'm always amazed at the nature of consciousness and the way perception works mm -hmm. and the way in which in particular the smallest gesture when it is the essence of whatever it is mm -hmm. <laughs> conveys the whole thing mm -hmm. the all this sits on a slope below me drawing a picture of an arctic poppy mm -hmm. Our This was their last camp on the way back. They spread their sleeping bags on the banks of the main river. In the edge of a long grove of spruce. And there from their beds they watched a most unforgettable scene. As the sun cast a red gold reflection over the water of the Shinjek. You know, Marty, we're going to miss this. So we even use cinema language a lot, uh, both of us, as we're looking at a piece, so that's very interesting. And yeah, we're literally talking about zooms, zoom and pan and close up. And, that's a cross you know, That's a This is really, this, okay, this is an Akira Kurosawa <laughs> moment. You know? <laughs> How do you do that on stage? Well, people both in and out of Alaska were concerned. They considered it a moral, moral imperative, imperative that we fight for our national heritage. It's a bigger question than some have assumed. It involves the real problem of what the human species is to do with the Earth.